You can import information from the web, and there's two ways you can do it. Microsoft has what are called existing connections, and to import that into the worksheet, of course you'll need internet connection, come up here, click on the data tab, go to the get external data group, click on the drop down arrow, and then you can see existing connections. Hover over it, it says, you can connect to an external data source by selecting from a list of commonly used sources. Let's find out just how common they are. Click on it. Let's see, MSN or Microsoft has Money Central, Money Central Investor, Major Indices, and uh, Stock Quotes. Well, choose one. Let's do Currency Rates and double click. Then it says, okay, where do you want to dump this data that's coming from the uh, web? Do you want it in cell A1? Sure. Click okie dokie and give it a second while it starts uh, pulling that information in. And wow. So we have uh, the rate in US dollars and then per US dollars. So the currency rate. Uh, Australian dollar to US dollar. Boy, the dollar's just not doing all that great, is it? In any case, if you want to see the latest changes after you've uh, imported this, you can just go ahead and pick a cell and right click and go down and click on refresh. Then give it a second or two while it checks the web to see if there's any latest updates. And if there are, it should go ahead and populate here. Okay, that's one way. Let me go ahead and close out. Click on the inner X and not save and go file down to new and let's do a new blank workbook. Then the other way if you don't want to use the uh, default uh, or commonly used Microsoft connections then come back up here on the data tab to the get external data group click on the drop down arrow and do it yourself go to the web yourself click on it it'll open up a little window and gosh you might get some errors not everything's bug free here so I'll say yeah we can continue running the page of course, if you don't have Adobe Flash Player installed with the latest updates, then you would go ahead and click Yes and follow the prompts. Now, this is my default web page, uh, drudgereport.com. I want to go to another website. Let's go ahead and uh, delete this and go www.msn.com, and then go ahead and hit Enter on the keyboard to go to that uh, website. You see these little uh, yellow boxes with an arrow? Up here, you got the legend that says, you can go ahead and click next to the tables you want to select. In other words, it says this is a table. Do you want to go ahead and select it and have that imported into uh, my worksheet here? Well, I don't want an advertisement. That's kind of annoying. And yes, here we go, the stocks. If I go ahead and you can see when I hover over it, it turns it from a yellow to a green. Go ahead and click it, change it to a check to select that table. So I can get the, uh, I would say the latest updates with the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, but think about it. On the website here, it's going to take some time for the information to get to MSN, and then if I go ahead and import that into my worksheet, then it's got another delay. You don't want to base your stocks upon this, but it's informational only. Click on Import. It says, where do you want to dump this? I'm fine with the cell A1. Click OK, and if I need to uh, get the latest change, I can go ahead and right-click on it and go down to Refresh and see if there's any updates. Give it a second or two, and apparently not within that split second. You can also, from the data tab, go to connections and click the refresh button as well. Again, no change to refresh at any time. And it made a slight change there. It used to be 0.44, now it's 0.04. Ooh, I better get off of this and quit this video before it goes down any further. Oh, and then finally, if you don't want this connected anymore, you can come up here to the data tab, to the connections group, click on connections. There's the connection. Let's go ahead and click remove. By removing this, it'll separate you, the workbook here, from the data source on the web. You okay with that? Click OK, close out. So if I go ahead and right click, there's no refresh option because it's no longer connected. Even though it shows it up here, you can click refresh all you want, but it's not going to go out to the web to update this. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel to get notified of the latest videos. And for great specials on my products, please see the description below this video.